Driving five days through the growing desert with a non-svelte sphinx, we arrive. The sphinx says nothing. The answer she doesn't give, I have. The desert isn't barren. A cactus forest oozes into bulbs and warts and scabs. Cactuses stand vigil, semaphores with secret messages. The soil is soft and powdery. It holds the footprints of stray dogs who, like jackrabbits, think they move with purpose. In the morning, after dressing, I walk out to the bay, not as the neighbors think, to see if it's still there, only to see if I am. In the salt pond, he took off on wings stretched four feet, prehistoric squawking, telling the story, hungry, unsatisfied. I feel like a geriatric crossing the Atlantic while sitting in my deck chair, each day hoping that the winds will be calm, the sun warm, and the perfect affair will arrive. A kind of self-inflicted exile, waiting for the well to fill. Dear Mark, welcome home. Now that Baja is just another memory, it's time to recreate your worldview. Arriving, the journey just begins. Best, Mark.